Hello and welcome to the Listening Posts unboxing channel on YouTube. Today I'm unboxing Yamaha's brand new CD player, the CDS 303. Yamaha has been producing single and multi-disc CD players at that sort of really good budget end of the market for decades. I recall over 20 years ago selling some of their multi-disc CD players literally by the palletful. Uh, they're renowned. They're renowned for build quality. They're renowned for sound quality. But, of course, as streaming has taken over, most manufacturers have avoided producing new CD players. So it's wonderful to see Yamaha has invested in, in all manner of re-engineering to deliver a brand new model to us today. The CDS-303 is obviously replacing the CDS-300. Um, it's available in two colours, black and silver. Today we'll be unboxing silver and as we look at the photographs on the box you'll see that there is a lovely colour pictorial of exactly that. So, let's have a look. The packaging is relatively, uh, well it's full colour, it's relatively eye-catching. White top, uh, model and serial number information on one side, an emulation of the colour pictorial on the other. Opening these really easy as always. It's a basic packing tape, simple few nicks, and you can bust these open. The packaging itself um, look, there's a little bit of polystyrene stuck at the top of the lid to stop a little bit of chatter and freight. Uh, at the back, there is an accessory box. The box itself is taped closed with a couple of little uh, pieces of packing tape. And as you fold each section open, it reveals a set of AA batteries for the remote control. The second little section opens up, and we see very, very modest interconnecting cables. There's a uh, two-pin New Zealand figure eight power cord. And protected inside another cardboard sleeve, the unit's remote control. Now the remote control is plastic, it's silver coloured, uh, it's kind of all that it needs to be. It, it's got an aluminium look to it, but it's a plastic remote control. Uh, batteries go in the, in the base and it's nice and evenly weighted. It allows the operation of all of the functions of the CD player, as well as the ability to select between the CD-ROM drive and the USB input. Also from the remote you can select the pure direct mode. Secondly, we've got a basic connection guide and a setup manual, along with a link to Yamaha's website. It's a bit of warranty information and stuff in that booklet as well. Lifting it out is really straightforward, but it does highlight the fact that there are four pieces of moulded polystyrene in the packaging to ensure that this product gets to you in, in perfect condition. Once out of the box, it's very, very straightforward to get it out of the bag. The bag itself is that sort of poly paper, so it's smooth, almost polish-like on the inside. And it offers a wonderful protection for the product in transit. Looking at the product, you'll see that it's simple but elegant in its design. It emulates a very similar design that they used in the CDS 300. Over this side, we have the Yamaha logo and model number, and then a physical switch for power. The unit will display standby and on slightly differently with the um, LED light above it. Uh, the standby functions uh, will time out over a prolonged period of time, will turn itself off, and of course you can turn it on off uh, the remote. There's a CD logo and then a USB input. Now the USB input is designed for media playback more than anything, and it will play MP3s, WMAs, uh, AAC and FLAC files via the USB. It's got a relatively low current 5 volt output, so it's not going to charge some iPad, but you could certainly use it as a charger for a modest phone if required. Beside that we've got a button and a little line drawing Im implying exactly its function, which is the ability to select between the CD drive and the USB drive as far as the source that you wish for playback. Beside the input selection, you've got the Pure Direct, and it illuminates when you select it because it blanks the, the screen out. In fact, it looks kind of dead. 
um, hence why it illuminates the light to let you know that you've pushed that button. The idea behind Pure Direct is to simplify the draw on all of the power and other things like that. Rather than extraneous noises potentially be it build, building up in the CD player, it's simplifying everything that it can. We see a central located CD drive. Now this is Yamaha's themselves and as part of what they've invested in is a balanced sort of attitude to this CD player. Um, centrally located and supported with the four feet. Um, the, uh, the drive itself is uh, jitter free and does a very, very good job of clamping the disc and ensuring the read is as good as it can given the budget um, uh, price tag of the CD player. To keep the design elegance, it's got a somewhat centrally located open and close button. Beneath it, of course, is the uh, LCD display. And then skip backwards and, and, and forwards. Tapping gives you a skip function. Pressing and holding gives you a fast forward and rewind. There's play, pause and stop to round out the functions off the front panel. Tilting it forward and spinning it around, you'll see that it's not very deep. This is designed to be relatively compact. What they have done internally is ensured that the circuit topography or the layout is not compromised or compacted unnecessarily. Power supplies are separated for digital components compared with analog and they've really done a very, very good job. Hidden inside is a 192K 24-bit DAC as well as all of the things required to make this relatively budget CD player sound like a rock star. Looking at the back, we see kind of the inputs and outputs you would expect and perhaps have grown to get used to from Yamaha. Boring end, we've got the figure eight power input, along with a warning associated with the uh, laser that's on board. We've got model and serial number information, and then we've got optical and coaxial digital outputs, allowing you to use this perhaps as a CD transport, or to connect it to an AV receiver or something along those lines with a multitude of digital ends. And then we've got a traditional single-ended RCA output, clearly labelled uh, left and right and colour-coded with the red and yellow. So there we have it. Yamaha's brand new, entry-level, superb but budget-priced CD player, unboxed here at the Listening Post in Christchurch, New Zealand. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more, subscribe to our channel.